This black ominous looking snake won't hurt you. It's got no fangs. You may have mistakenly thought that this black critter is none other than a black mamba, but it's just a harmless rat snake. There's one main sign that can help you figure out if a snake is really dangerous. Unfanged species do not have a venom delivery system, therefore their bites won't harm you that much. But if you see a snake with fangs, you're in real danger. If you come across a snake, it's best to leave the area and seek assistance from a wildlife professional in identifying the reptile. Here are some tips to help you distinguish between the two types. Observe their behavior, nesting habits, and habitats. Some snakes may shake their tails as a warning signal. Also, venomous snakes typically have triangular-shaped heads, compared to non-venomous snakes with rounded heads. Time for an optical illusion. Can you spot a snake here? You'd better be attentive because there's a boom slang hiding on that tree. This slithery critter has mastered the art of disguise and it likes to pretend to be a tree branch. Also, boom slangs may not have the best sense of smell, but they make up for it with their ability to detect chemicals in the air. Using their tongues, they gather odor molecules and press them against their sensory organs in the mouth. This snake is venomous. Just look at those fangs. Still, while they're not in use, the snake can neatly fold back its fangs into its mouth. Rattlesnakes and humans have something in common. Both have a lot of keratin-made accessories in our bodies. Human nails and hair are made of keratin, and rattlesnakes' rattles are made of it too. The staple sounds these slithery creatures make are similar to the noise we humans can make when we rub our nails against one another. But these reptiles do it super fast, so it almost sounds like hissing. Whenever the snakes shed, they add up a new segment to their rattle. But it's not like the older a snake is, the more segments it has. Their rattles may wear off or break, just like our nails. Rattlesnakes, as well as many other snakes, have a unique inner ear structure that doesn't include an eardrum. This means they can't pick up airborne sounds like we do. Instead, their inner ear is connected to their jaw, and they use this mechanism to feel vibrations. Biologists are still figuring out whether snakes detect sounds through pressure or mechanical vibrations in their bodies. They're also quite selective eaters. Rattlesnakes only chow down when they're feeling hungry, with adults usually waiting around two weeks between meals. These sneaky hunters usually go after mice, rats, squirrels, and rabbits, but they won't say no to a bird if they manage to catch one. Younger rattlesnakes, on the other hand, tend to have a heartier appetite, sometimes dining as often as once a week. Now look at their huge fangs. They're like hypodermic needles, hollow and sharp allowing them to inject venom. What's really cool is that these fangs are hinged and lie flat against the snake's upper jaw when its mouth is closed, only to spring forward perpendicularly when it strikes. Majestic cottonmouths are named this way because of the striking white coloration inside their mouths that they display when threatened. These semi-aquatic serpents effortlessly navigate both water and land earning them the moniker Water Moccasin. Equipped with heat-sensing facial pits nestled between their eyes and nostrils, they possess an extraordinary ability to detect even the slightest temperature variations, honing in on potential prey with precision. Rarely do cottonmouths bite humans, reserving their venomous strike for moments of provocation. Here's a tip on how to distinguish between non-venomous water snakes and their venomous counterparts cottonmouths. While water snakes boast a slender build, cottonmouths exude a robust and weighty presence. The telltale signs continue with water snakes sporting elongated, slender tails and heads proportionate to their necks, contrasting with the blocky and broad head of a cottonmouth. The pupils of the water snake are round, a departure from the vertical, cat-like pupils of cottonmouths. Plus, Non-venomous snakes don't have the distinctive facial pits characteristic of pit vipers, like cottonmouths. Here's another venomous star, the copperhead snake. Their musk smells just like cucumbers. Their venom is pretty particular too. Will you be in trouble if this snake bites you? 
totally. Does it help cure lethal conditions? Um, sorta. It's not a 100% proven fact so far, but scientists have been testing this theory for quite a while, and they did notice that the copperhead snake's venom can, if not cure some serious conditions, but slow down their progression. Even so, they have the most venomous bites among all the US snakes, but antivenom for the bites somehow is not always needed. Coral snakes are known for their non-aggressive nature, as they are shy and secretive creatures. Theirs make up less than 1% of snake bites in America. Their venom is a neurotoxin that paralyzes nerves, and due to their small teeth, they must chew on their prey to inject the venom. When feeling threatened, a coral snake will curl the tip of its tail to confuse the attacker about the location of its head. The mysterious and mesmerizing black mamba, also known as the black mouth mamba, calls the rocky savanna its home and loves to hang out near termite mounds. With a color range from gray to dark brown, its name comes from the dark interior of its mouth. Black mambas hold the title of some of the fastest moving snakes globally, reaching speeds of 10 to 12 miles per hour on a sleek surface. Despite its fierce reputation, unprovoked attacks on humans remain unproven, and the snake is actually responsible for only a small number of lethal cases each year. Saw-scaled vipers possess a fascinating ability to produce a spine-chilling noise, accompanied by a striking threat display. The unique shape of their scales allows them to create a prolonged rattling hiss or sizzle when they move in a particular terrifying manner. These sounds serve as a clear warning to anyone in close proximity to the snake. Despite being responsible for many fatalities, without treatment, the saw-scaled viper's bites are fatal in fewer than 10% of cases. This contrasts starkly with the king cobra and black mamba, whose untreated bite fatalities are significantly higher. Saw-scaled vipers are known for their extreme aggression and lightning-fast strikes, making them some of the quickest and most unpredictable snakes in the world. When you're out hiking in the bush, remember not to mess with any snakes you come across, even if they don't seem alive. Some sneaky snakes play possum and can strike if bothered. If you spot one, give it some space. When it comes to snakes, they're usually pretty shy and won't bother you unless they feel threatened. Trying to catch or harm a snake is a big no-no, as that's when most snake bites occur. And don't be tricked by their size. Even little snakes can pack a punch. For example, baby brown snakes are born with venom, so it's best to admire them from a safe distance. Each year, over 7,000 Americans fall victim to snake bites, often due to misguided attempts to handle or fight a snake. It's crucial to avoid such actions and seek immediately medical help if bitten. Understanding how to differentiate between venomous and non-venomous snakes is key to assessing potential risks. Contact a professional if you're unsure about a snake's identity and never handle a snake, even if it appears harmless. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.